Okay, yeah, yeah. Ahmad Afzali and his wife Mozana, who live in Lancaster, sit down to talk with Mohammed Reza, a freelance journalist, and his wife Fatima Nazari. The couple has become well known to Afghans at home and abroad due to their weekly shows on YouTube. The Afzalis were fans, and now they're trying to help them escape. They contact like the Department of State, and I was telling them like this is the situation. They said, uh, okay. The only thing is get to the nearest U.S. Embassy, we can help them. Said, okay, they, they can't, they can't go, there's no way. They have passports but no visas, which they need to get out to get to the nearest embassy. All the border is closed and then if they find a way to go out, it is really dangerous going from one city to another city. Because of Taliban checkpoints, the risks are even greater for Mohammed and Fatima. Not only are they ethnic minorities there, but they've also been openly critical of the Taliban, specifically its restrictions on women, education, and free speech. They make it clear like, to the world what they are doing, what they are saying, and how they are governing. They're not going to forgive that person. There's no forgiveness for them and Mohammed has the scars to prove it. After voting in the 2014 election, the Taliban took two of his fingers. But Mozana says her friends are strong, and that's why she's sharing their story with us. But right now, the situation is we need help, and we, we, can, we can do that. We are like prisoners. Amber Gerard, WGAL News 8.